Have you ever wanted to play a twin stick shooter where the main goal is to slaughter as many llamas as possible? If so, then this Ranzen Spotlight might be for you. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse by Rogue Code. It's available today, March 16th on the Xbox One and PC. It is also an Xbox Play Anywhere title, so if you buy the Xbox One version, you'll get the Windows 10 version at no additional cost, or vice versa. I'm playing it on the Xbox One X, and it retails for $15, and I want to thank the developers for sending over a code for the purpose of the video. Now, when I watched the trailer, I saw the title, and it was like, hey, you're going to be killing llamas in this game. I was kind of interested. I thought the game would be kind of a tongue-in-cheek, uh, jokey, like, hey, llamas are taking over the world. you got to destroy them, and it is kind of like that, but unfortunately... The game's not very good, so let's get into it, right? It's a, it's a very basic twin-stick shooter. There's some craziness going on with uh, the llamas, controlled by Llamazon, or the Llamanati. I know there's a lot of puns in this game. In fact, there's a slider where you can turn off the in-game puns. Basically, you're a pilot of this drone, this, this mech, and it's your goal to clear out the city of all these damn llamas. There are four districts, districts to clear out. There's two difficulties to play on, casual and hard. And it's kind of like a roguelike game. So you start off, you enter an area, and your job is to kill a set number of uh, llamas until you can progress to the next uh, area. And there's usually about 10 uh, areas to a single district. Uh, you'll get a whole bunch of different weapons that you can unlock by killing a set number of enemies or doing a set number of things. Of course, you have pistols, you have machine guns, you have freeze rays, you have water hoses. A whole weird and awesome collection of weapons that you use on left trigger and right trigger and you reload with left bumper and right bumper. You can also pick up an ultimate weapon that you can use once and use that on Y. Uh, and as you kill the different number of llamas scattered around the level, of course, there's small ones that run right at you and attack you. There's ones that will explode if they get close. There's one that will spit at you. There's many different types of llamas that will be introduced throughout the game's, uh, you know, uh, story, basically. And as you kill llamas, they drop energy. And the energy you can pick up from them powers your three special abilities. One, you can turn on a shield to help stop you know you from getting damage one lifts you huge up in the sky so high up that you come smashing down and the llamas are dead and there's blood everywhere and the other one will let you kind of dash away really quickly and there's also perks you can get because of course it wouldn't be a roguelike without perks so every single time you complete a challenge uh, they'll give you another challenge the challenge could be kill 10 llamas in the stage knock over 10 foam boots uh, destroy 15 fire hydrants, kill so many llamas with your special ability, and each time you complete one of those, you unlock a new perk. So every time you play the game, you supposedly would get better and better as you unlock better perks for your mech, and then also unlock the better weapons to help you get through it, because a run-through of a single district can take upwards of 30 to 40 minutes, and if you do die, because there's no way of getting your health back, uh, you do have to start back at the very beginning, and it's kind of frustrating when that happens. Now, it does also feature four-player local co-op, uh, so if you have you know four people to play it with, it might be the best way to go about it. So, tons of weapons, tons of perks. And, you know, they say that it's a massive changing city to explore, but honestly, it all looked the same to me. Uh, I ended up beating District 2 and getting to this part where you control the car and it had some of the worst controls I've experienced in a video game in a long time and I honestly stopped playing uh, but I want to do the video because I know people you know want to know about this llama game so achievement wise it's not that hard of a thousand you know you gotta kill hundreds of thousands of llamas complete all the districts get all the perks and weapons so if you're willing to put in the time you definitely can be rewarded with um, the full completion. However, I don't think the game is worth it. I found myself bored already within the first 20 minutes of the game. That's right. The first 20 minutes of the game, I was bored out of my mind. It's the same thing. You run into a town, the llamas attack you, or they spawn out of a 
you know, spawn generator they gotta destroy, rinse and repeat for the entire game. And honestly, the game doesn't do the twin stick shooter genre better. It's $15, I can't re recommend it at that price point. There are way better twin stick shooters out there for your money. So I definitely do not recommend Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse. It's a game that I kind of wanted to enjoy, you know, in that kind of funny humor uh, that it had going for it, but it just repeats it nonstop. Uh, it's just not very good to play. It's not very fun to play, which is why I played it for a couple hours and, and dropped it. You know, it, it's the one thing a game I, I, I hate in games. It's, it's boring. You know, it's not a bad game. It's not a good game. It's a just a complete boring game, and there's other better games out there worth your time. Of course, this is all my opinion. Someone may be watching this video and decide, hey, this game looks pretty cool. I'm going to play it. You know, it's Xbox Play Anywhere. That's all up to you. That's why I make these videos. But if you're looking for my recommendation, I would skip on Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse, and I'm going to give this game a 5 out of 10. It could have been so much more, but unfortunately... It is not. Anyways, guys, that is the review for Vicious Attack Llama Apocalypse. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content. Hit the notification bell so you're always notified when I do drop these rands and these spotlights and all the other content I do make. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Later.